Um, here, here is my problem. I just spawned and I have no chance of turning away. Um, yeah. You know, this this going to be a quick end. Oh, an Atlanta. You might imagine I could destroy it with a cheap, but no. Well, it's still better than Ambden. Okay, first several out. The torpedoes on this thing, they are sad as well because they are from fixed launch tubes. <laughs> oh. That's a good thing, yes. No. Nope. Yeah, that was irony. But never I mind. was being sarcastic. Yeah. It's just the irony, man. It's a joke. Like I'm spawning like what eight kilometers away from the enemy. Yeah. Oh just I can't even turn away. <laughs> no, I, I literally can't turn around. Can't you just use your enabler? What? Smoke. Um if you can't turn around your smoke will uh be behind you, so you're just making it's it useless. Even... Yeah. yeah. You know, huh? this, this is a fucking heavy cruiser that spawns eight kilometers away from the enemy. Eight kilometers distance is nothing. That's like shooting at like a, a one and a half kilometers on tanks. That's um, less than ideal. I mean, the firing angles look nice, but they are not that great. I don't even have the penetration to go through the Brooklyn's um, through the Brooklyn's armor. Do you guys know anything about the ME262s in this game, or not really? No. Alright. Jomo engines? Alright, just wondering. If, if this guy would target me, I'd, I'd be dead already. Like, this <laughs> is... I, I, I can't do jack shit. The shells don't have <laughs> enough pen. The damage is bad, the HG is practically useless against anything but destroyers, which you won't hit because of the bad accuracy. Ooh, it's it's um Imagine <laughs> grinding for this. <laughs> Can't you just write it off and not use it again then? You know, I want I want I want to make a video about it, but because apparently I'm the <laughs> ship guy now, you know. Yeah, but you said you weren't going to do another Navy video. I remember yeah. what you In said. that patch. In that patch. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You got me. Yeah, you got me. Sh shouldn't be like... Uh, should be like five seconds. Like just, uh, just shit, don't play it and just... Eh, put it <laughs> on YouTube. Hey there, YouTube. Do not play both. Goodbye. Don't play this. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. No, no, no. It would probably be the best. <laughs> yeah. But I'd leave a like on it. <laughs> Well, if you want, if you are suicidal, if you have suicidal thoughts, okay, I just, I just to, hit, okay, I just wait. hit the compartment of a destroyer with an eighth-inch HE shell. It made yes. it orange. Oh, nice. <laughs> All the band, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there, Ritten. You get you know, the, you I get glorious HE Italian with... heavy cruiser, and your HE, the arm, yeah, you useless. <laughs> No, comrade. But you get the Russian heavy cruiser there. Salvos on salvos on salvos. Yeah, vodka yeah, after vodka after vodka. The 
So the airfield's oh. flashing, but I don't see why. Fuck me. I really hate that. Hey, him. hey, he's making a recording. Relax. Yes, the only one entitled to do a re is me. <laughs> Uh, okay, um... <laughs> wow, is this, my, is this my, Joy from Napalm? No, no, this is, I, my, my HE shell got absorbed by the anti-fragmentation uh, belt of oh. an American destroyer. Not Joy, <laughs> not Joy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like <laughs> that's sad. I'm not gonna lie. That that is that is. What am I supposed to say? This is nice. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> oh my god! I just say, this is fine. You know, like you know the meme that this uh, this. I just I you know there was a patrol boat. It, it might have been a bot, but it doesn't really matter. At three kilometers, I am perfectly. This person said no. Like, oof. The meme with the duck that's in the house and everywhere is fire, and he just said, "This is fine." Yeah, but it's it's. You know, we already had this issue. Wasn't that like one one of the British ships? How the shots didn't line up with where you were aiming? Uh, oh, half the shots. That was the HMS Dido. Yeah, but they really oh. didn't like that shot because they also made the armor plating completely wrong because. <laughs> Those reasons. Yeah, I'm sitting here and I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. I wonder how would they implement the battleships and you know the heavier, heavier ships and the, all that. Is oh, that I confirmed can... in the future? Or no? I, I, obviously they will go for battleships. Obviously they have no other choice. The community will ask for it, despite the current state being absolutely trash and <laughs> tragic and. Yep, I agree with you there. Ooh, okay, that was just a splitter. And they, uh, how they should, uh, how they said like they will never add uh, aircraft carriers. They will. Yeah, that of wow. it's premium pack. <laughs> well, I shot him down. You know how you say you don't go head to head with people? Yeah, I should have listened. Oh, it's oh, beautiful to see a, It's beautiful to see this. He this heavy bomber just still flies with a wing shot off. How are you guys enjoying the update? We're not. <laughs> it's War Thunder. You think we enjoy this shit? There's enjoyment. <laughs> what? What? Do you do you realize how much my E100 costs to repair? Damn it! <laughs> Forty thousand. <laughs> Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, I, 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 I hate myself for earning it. Okay. How many? How many? Teams? <laughs> I just, I just watched this guy making the perfect, the perfect, the perfect torpedo run on me with one wing missing. <laughs> Good job, Walker. <laughs> it just works. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> oh my flak! Funnily, my flak does hit, but it doesn't do any damage. Uh huh. So what were you going to say, Organized Boy? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so uh, how many T-80s could you buy for the price of one E-100, as in the repair cost? Um, you could buy a couple. You, you could buy probably <laughs> a, a small fleet. I think in Russia you can even flew in, I think, some planes. You know, jet, jet fighters, actually. <laughs> yeah, you, you can. I believe they, um... Didn't they stop doing that? It was with the, um... Was it with the MiG-31 or with the MiG-29 that they were doing that? The and edge of space flight? Definitely was it with Albatross. I, I believe it was a MiG-29 as well because uh, the Albatross can't go to that altitude. Yeah, but you can fly them. Like, without license. <laughs> you just... Come on, Dimitri, come on, here. Get well, yeah, it's, you it's, can it's fly any airplane if you have the license to train Fly, it's it's MiG Flug. That's what it costs. Oh, you can still do it. You pay a thousand seven hundred and fifty euros Jesus. for um, 
to go to the edge of space and go supersonic. That's actually not too bad, to be fair. What are you what flying you that can fly that high? It's you, a are you in a U-2? A, you can just a MiG-29 cannot go to the edge of space. That's what they call it. Oh, okay, it's just a title? Right. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. A bit of Wait a minute. Does a MiG-29 have a climb rate of 330 meters a second? Modern jets are freaking nuts when it comes to climb rate, dude. I wouldn't be surprised. You can literally go with, like, F-22s to F-15s, MiG-29s, you can go straight up and accelerate up to Mach Okay, so you go, your maximum altitude that you reach on the flight is 18.1 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, that's high. That's, that's up there. <laughs> are you sure it's not a MiG-31? No, Just it's a MiG-29. The MiG-31 can do 23 kilometers. I'm about to say, like, the 31 is something I would believe they can do that, but yeah. not, the 29 just, it's a light fighter. It's like an F-16 copy with two engines. Yeah. Well, it has twice, uh, well, twice the engines. It, yeah. <laughs> oh, joy, oh, joy. I need 206. 260k tail M48 super. Oh god. Good luck. <clears throat> You're gonna need it. Yeah. What Don't would pull be your the best top tier Russian ground vehicle to put a talisman on? See you to you. Yeah. Really? I thought something small like the BMW. Not the Tangrika? Well, you could put a talisman on something. Yeah, yeah, you can. Not bad. What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing dead. 800 ping, 40% packet loss. But Ooh, I hear oh you yeah. guys clearly. Napalm, how long did it take for you to download the, uh, to download the update? I, I don't know. He, he just he downloaded it uh, before it was able. Do you not have fiber optics where you are? No, the thing is, uh, I went back from home to eat at home, and uh, I started the PC, started the download, and so when I, I went back to work. Nice. Yes, night map. I love it. Mm. Yes. Destroy bombers at HO3. I need more money. I only have 473k. <laughs> You know, okay, I, um... okay, boys, boys, here, here is the thing bad yeah. network connection. I have 69%, 71% packet loss, ping is at oh. 999, and um, I hear you guys clearly. My internet connection seems to be fine, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Gaijin servers are, and you know, naval forces in general are highly unstable at the moment well, in, naval, in naval forces, uh, and then there is the Trento. Bad, TP, bad DPM, bad accuracy, and uh, bad alpha strike. Um, the armor is like luster, um, secondaries, and the A is questionable at best. And I, you know, imagine grinding for this thing and then finding it out that it's that bad. Okay, I was, I was actually kicked. I was actually kicked from from the server. The best way to um, improve the Trento is to actually, every time you get killed in it, you should get RP and money. That would be the best way to improve it. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Um, I'm making that bit a video, I guess, because it just shows uh, a match in its entirety where I actually was lucky. And you know what? This is you managed to hit someone. <gasps> oh my god! I kill. I killed somebody, but then the servers. It's. It's. It's literally unplayable, and I think Gaijin has done a fine job in making it worse. God, it's like here. I, I think some of you might have might have noticed it yesterday. I played the entire day, and I couldn't get a single semi decent game. And you know, I I I could lie to people making a kill compilation and say you know it's a decent chip, but it's not. It's not that it's a bad ship, but this in the thrown into meta where you have no distance, where you can't do anything. Um, it's it's a 
Nevo Four says at the moment in general the Italian tech tree. It's definitely not worth it. Don't buy the Spaviero, don't buy the destroyer, just don't. And yeah, that's the video. Um, Unless you want the Spaviero just for custom battles. I know some people just yeah but come on custom battles if, if that's already the main mm. argument for buying something in the game you're yeah, really true. desperate oh. you, no no stop stop stop, like stop, stop stop you're really desperate at this point and you sound like the marketing guy of gaijin <laughs> how do you know i'm not uh, oh shit. well you might be <laughs> <He's>... <laughs>